Chino. Hello. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Got your dressage saddle. to make a bed. It's like, as we said, I'm not to tell you that very much today, Anna, so good for you. <laughs> very, very good here. Emily, this is beautiful. Good job, Grace. This is very nice with him. You're doing a great job not letting him wobble, and he is a wobbler. <laughs> I say that with love. My old trainer got on my horse once, and he was like, oh my god, it's like riding a dinosaur. <laughs> good. And he made Tina look like a dainty little petite thoroughbred. Um, go ahead, shorten your right knee just a little bit. All right, riders, let's try. So, three, two, one, and swing, and think about the canner. Emily, you're just about to have it. A little more. Oh, Anna, look at that. My goodness. Even Finn was like, oh, I know what we're doing. Excellent, riders. Look at what lovely canners we have. That was much more effective. Because you're doing all the little details correct. You're setting it up and making the opportunity where those things happen very organically. And you're all feeling that. Like even Finn like leapt into the canter from his tush with his shoulders like a foot in the air. <laughs> we didn't think he had it in. Um, and you feel, look at how he's using his back here. Do you feel the difference, Grace? Yeah. He's like, whoa. He suddenly has lifted in his shoulders and is reaching through his neck. Good, here, riders. So now, this time riders were bending right. Our right seat bone is forward. To a lot of horses over the years, working in Spain and Portugal. Um, but once a horse knows it, sometimes you get it by accident, especially when you're starting to put more weight on the tushy, and it can be a little bit 